Hello students, mensuration is a topic that many 8th standard students find challenging, especially problems which are not direct application of formulae. Here, in fact, we have one such question. Let us see, the diagonal of a rectangular field is 18 centimeter and its perimeter is 40 centimeter. What is the area of the field? Okay. So, let us start with what information is given to us. Okay. We have a rectangular field. Let us call it PQRS. Okay. Now, we are given that the diagonal is 18 centimeter. So, we can say this line is 18 centimeter. The diagonal SQ is what we have drawn. But we of course know that PR is also 18 centimeter because the diagonals of a rectangle are equal. Okay. So, we can say diagonal we call it D equals 18 centimeter. Okay. What other information is given? They are given that the perimeter is 40. What does that mean? Well, if you say perimeter, it is the sum of all these four sides. Okay. Suppose we say that the length of the rectangle is A and the breadth of the rectangle is B, then we know that the perimeter is 2 into A plus B or 2A plus 2B and that is given to be 40 centimeter. Therefore, we can say A plus B is 20 centimeter. Is that all? But that is not what is asked. What is asked is the area of the field. Remember, to find the area, you need length into breadth. In fact, the formula for area is A into B. This is the full area. Okay? And if you know A and B, you will get the area. But do we know A and B? No. We only have the sum of A and B. How do we find the values of A and B? Well, that is not clear at all. So, what do we do? Okay. Let us see what other information is given to us. We are told that the diagonal is 18 and we have not used that information at all. So, let us see how that is going to help us. Okay. Now, if you see this triangle QRS, what can we say about this triangle? Well, this is part of the rectangle and in the rectangle all four angles are 90 degrees. Therefore, we can say that angle R is 90 degrees and in a triangle if one angle is 90 degrees, it is a right angle triangle where Pythagoras theorem will apply. Therefore, we can say by Pythagoras theorem, what is the Pythagoras theorem? Square on the hypotenuse is sum of the squares of the other two sides. Here the hypo hypotenuse is QS which is D. Okay? So, we can say D square is A square plus B square. Okay? Now, D is given to us as 18 centimeter. That means, we can say A square plus B square is 18 square. Okay? But still, we are nowhere near having the values of A and B. We have A plus B and we have A square plus B square as 18 square. But what we need is actually AB. How do we find that? Well, is there some formula or expression that connects these ideas? Well, we already know an identity which does that. That identity is A plus B the whole square is A square plus B square plus 2AB or A square plus 2AB plus B square is the same. Okay? Now, here you can see that A plus B is something that we already know. And A square plus B square is also something that we already know. So, we can substitute. For A plus B, if we put 20, the left hand side will become 20 square. Okay? What about the right hand side? If you look at A square plus B square, we already found it as 18 square. Therefore, we can say this is 18 square and the 2AB will just come as it is. Now, we can rewrite this as 2AB equals 20 square minus 18 square. This means it is 400 minus 324 which is 76. So, we have 2AB is 76 which means AB is 76 by 2 which is 
38. Remember, AB is what we wanted because that is the area of the field. And the beauty is we calculated AB without solving for the individual values of A or B. In fact, we still don't know that. We know A plus B, we know A square plus B square. That is the beauty of this problem. That means we have the area which is what is asked in the question. So, the area of the field, remember we have to put the correct units, it is 38 centimeter square because the diagonal is 18 centimeter and the perimeter is also given in centimeter. Okay? So, this is how we solve the question where there is no straightforward formula to find the answer, but the information given in the question plus existing identities that we already know can be put together to arrive at the answer this way.